Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, a while back during uh, late night uh, in the ER, uh, it turned out that one of the paramedics there, uh, she's a good singer and she sings a lot of country music and stuff like that. And uh, I'm also interested in uh, live sound reinforcement and sound recording. So I asked her if she wanted to do some recording and we've done some recording together and uh, done some uh, Patsy Klein covers and stuff like that uh, and uh, a couple of days ago she asked me uh, if I could help her to fix her uh, music stand and this was broken I'll I'll show you how here's the lower part that goes on the stand and this as you can see is totally broken here and this is supposed to go here and there's a top part that goes onto here and you screw this together and you're all set I made this part yesterday I uh, made this in the mill and I turned this in the lathe, uh, TIG welded them together and then I painted them and uh, I just epoxy glued them uh, to the music stand like that. And this of course uh, works excellent. The only problem is when I put it all together I took the top part and put it here and of course this one developed a crack so now I'll have to make a top part also. and. Okay, well, I didn't film making this lower part. Uh, I will make a film of the upper part and show you. And this project, uh, like so many other projects, starts with a piece of scrap and a grinder. Here I have a 45 degree uh, face mill that uses these SEKN1203 inserts and this will be a good size uh, face mill for facing off uh, this uh, piece of metal. So 212 means we'll have a spindle speed of 500 RPMs and that'll give me a cutting speed of uh, 118 meters per minute. With 500 RPMs and uh, six inserts in the face mill, I'll be making 3,000 cuts per minute. And if I want 0.05 millimeters uh, per cut, that'll correspond to uh, a table feed of 150 millimeters per minute. So I'm going to set that here, like so. Uh, the owner of uh, the music stand 
and uh, it's one of the recordings I made with her. Uh, I'm going to make this black now and uh, I want to powder coat it and uh, to make sure that the powder coat sticks I'm going to uh, start by making uh, the surface rough in the blasting cabinet. As you can see the part has uh, quite a satin finish now and I'm sure this uh, rough surface will make the powder coat grab very well. Here's my powder coating kit and this has an electrical unit and this is the gun that's actually used to paint and you attach uh, the compressed air here and you take the paint which is like a powder in a can like this and attach it up here and then this electrical unit has a couple of different cords and it's of course one cord to the spray gun and one power cord and then it's one cord to a foot switch and one cord to a ground clamp and what you do is you uh, attach the ground clamp to the part you want to paint and then uh, you press the foot switch when you're about to spray and then you just spray the paint with this and what happens is uh, the powder gets electrically charged and uh, then that makes it uh, attach to the parts that is grounded. Since I don't want this black powder all over my shop I opened the garage door so this will fly out and uh, I have uh, the main unit here and I switch it on and then I have the ground clamp to this sheet metal and I have the foot switch in my hand and now I'm going to apply the powder to the part. I successfully moved uh, the part uh, off the sheet metal without disturbing the powder and then I wiped off the sheet metal and uh, put the part back and you have to be careful not to touch this because if you touch it then obviously uh, the powder will be wiped away. And now I'm going to head for the oven and I'm going to bake this at uh, 200 degrees centigrade for about 10 to 15 minutes. I took the part out of the oven and let it cool and as you can see this uh, powder coating gives a very nice surface and quite a professional finish and it's really easy to do. So I really recommend that. And this is how it all comes together with the wing screws here for uh, adjustment. And that's all for today and I hope Ingla will be glad that she has her uh, music stand repaired and see you later. <laughs>